all true. Hi, I'm Dr. Freiberg. I don't believe we've met. My first time here, but I've attended a meeting in another state for years. Oh, good. Actually, I ran my own group meeting out of my house. Interesting. Well, I hope you'll come back often. Hmm. All right, welcome, friends. I hope we're all ready to discuss our assignments from last week. Oh, yes, we have a new friend, Mr. Jack Ironside. My commanding officer said I have to come to these meetings. You're in the military? I was Army, 41st Fire Brigade. Impressive. It is. I guess it is. What branch were you in? Well, I was with a special apparatus called the Stormburners, X Corps Chaplain's Unit. There isn't an X Corps. You're right. And you should forget I told you anything about it. This is all very interesting, but I think we need you, to move on. You were a chaplain? I was a pastor. I didn't know you were a religious man. Actually, religion has nothing to do with my chaplainship in the X Corps. We look at theology through strictly a scientific perspective. This is all very interesting, but I think we should they, move on. They say that science and religion don't mix. And you believe them? I believe in both science and religion. Then why did you stop being a pastor? Someone said it wasn't my calling. Now he's a school teacher. I think men who are great with kids make the best fathers. I'm a school teacher. You are? What do you teach? I teach high school students. I mean, what subjects? Oh, hedonism and misanthropy. What's hedonism? Well, it's about finding happiness by following your heart. Oh, that's sweet. This is all very interesting. How do you mix science and religion as an army chaplain? Well, it's a matter of understanding faith and biology. Well, when you say biology, are you talking about genomics? Well, genomics as it pertains to... Mapping the human DNA sequence. Are you a geneticist? I... I just do it as a hobby. <laughs> I knew there was something about you. I did extensive study in the field of genetics. I've been published twice in the Human Genetics Monthly. I never heard of that journal. It's only the most prestigious journal in the field. I should subscribe to it. You should. I will. It'd blow your mind. I think we've digressed enough. Why don't we talk about your assignment last week to find something small that seems implausible to you to bring to the group for discussion? Why don't we start with you, Audrey? Uh, how do you mix genetics and faith? And what does that have to do with being a military chaplain? Only everything, but I can't talk about it. Well, why not? It's classified, unless... Can you keep a secret? Okay, I think this has gone far No, 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 I wanna hear Step this. Step Doc, let him talk. Gulf War syndrome has nothing to do with war. It has everything to do with demonic possession. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. And the scary thing is, is that this type of demonic possession occurs at a genetic level and spreads from host to host. That's why we need people like you, Cheryl, to map out the human DNA chain so that we can recognize the infiltrating demonic genomes. And because these genomes are demonic in nature, we need people like you, Barry, who have the faith and understanding of ancient rituals to exorcise these demons. And once the condition has fully manifested itself in its hosts, we need people like you, Deacon, and the rest of the boys of the 41st Fire Brigade to defend us, to defend us from the ravenous hordes of the infected. All right, friends, let's all think for a minute about what we're hearing. Every week we come here and we talk about recognizing the signs of implausibility. Deacon, what is the first sign that something is implausible? How do we recognize the infected? Well, I have first-hand experience in spotting the infected. The important thing when you spot... Hey, I need some help. I need some help. I, I need a couple of big guys. Really fast. Big guys, and I need them fast. Big guys in here really fast. Okay. I need help. Okay. Fast. The symptoms are easy to spot. Clammy, 
pale skin and a sickly complexion. Sunken eyes, dark discoloration under the brows and at the bridge of the nose. A peaked look, similar to anemia. Excessive grease in the hair. Infected hosts, as the condition progresses, also take on aspects of demonic demeanor. They listen to heavy metal music. They wear black clothes. Uh, I'm one of them! I've been infected! Uh, what do you do? Welcome, trainer. Everybody remain calm. This is not real. Don't worry. We're gonna get this demon out of you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Everyone around her, hold hands. Do any of you know the preamble to the Constitution of the United States? Uh, I kind of know it. I know it. Repeat after me. Okay. okay. Can anyone quote Horatius? I learned that in school. I need you to quote Horatius, and I need you to quote the preamble, and you help him. Yeah, let's do this. What about the rest of us? Repeat everything I say. Go. We, the people of the United by States. By the power of forces unknown to animals, man. Of by the power of the forces, forces unknown to Justice. Justice. Of tranquility. And it's, it's a thing of tranquility. Of the great and house the of Tarkin. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. The Provoke the general welfare. Suffer wrong no more. Secure the blessings of liberty. The, the heads of the horses of the four accomplices. And may a trysting I hereby expunge the demon from the double helix of this constitution. To summon this constitution for the United States of America of this woman's DNA. Audrey, you feel better now, don't you? I do. I really do. How can you swallow this man's stories? This man is obviously telling a lie and spinning it bigger and bigger, and you all keep believing him. How long have you been coming to this group and learning the steps of recognizing the implausible, and yet none of you have learned anything? It, you are all hopeless cases. Nothing anyone ever does is ever going to help you. You are all hopeless. You are completely hopeless. Gentlemen, can you help us? Right in the middle of some important work, and this man is making it very difficult. Hey, no, 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 I'm the doctor. I'm the doctor. Oh, like I'm that gold bowl. Hey, no, 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 don't believe him. Believe me. I'm not crazy. Believe me. I'm the important one. Sad thing is, when he said he wasn't crazy, I almost believed him. But we didn't. No. So we must be making progress. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, same time next week? For sure. Yep, yeah, yeah. we're there. Okay.